Hey y'all, welcome to Doran's Garden once again. And if this is your first time, welcome. Do you know what today is? It's my lock anniversary. Yes. I've made it to one year being locked. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be very extra in this video. I will promise to keep it short and sweet. Thank you so much for coming across my video. If you are interested in lock videos, ASMR, beauty tips, womanhood, motherhood, this channel is for you. Make sure that you press that subscribe button and that notification bell so you will be notified each time I upload a future video. All right guys, so in today's video, I will be displaying a timeline of my lock journey. I started my lock journey with micro locks and I was micro locked for eight months and then I decided to combine my locks. If you're interested in why and how I combine my micro locks, I'll be sure to leave the link above on the screen, okay? And, um, and I also leave the playlist of my lock journey. Okay. Quickly, before I get into the timeline, of plenty of pictures and videos. I just wanna give you a 360 on my locks today. Just give you an update on what I'm using and pretty much just fill you in on what's going on. So, All right, so first things first, I am no longer interlocking. I am retwisting my roots only. That's number one. The second changes or the second thing that I've that I've been doing is going at least two to three months between retwists. I don't know if that's considered semi-free forming, but I just leave my hair alone. I leave my locks alone. I don't manipulate my locks very often. I honestly don't do a lot of styling. The only styling that I've been doing lately is putting scrunchies in my hair and coming up with cute, cute, cute hairstyles. know if the scrunchies are coming back i guess they are coming back and so i'm just like these scrunchies are very good for low manipulation or low tension style so that's my go-to right now just using scrunchies to style my locks i'm still using the same products i'm still using my concoction which i added another ingredient so stay tuned for that video because i will be posting a, a diy on my moisture or hydrating mist so let's get straight into my locks. I'm gonna give you a 360 and give you an up close and personal view. I recently did a retwist. I did a water and oil only retwist, which I also have a video for on my channel and I'll link it above on the screen, okay? And yeah, so let me just get straight into my locks. So before I get started, there's been a few changes. So. I've been able to add a brand new lock. And this time, oh, it's too bright. Okay, I've been able to establish a new lock right here. It's a comb coil. Yes, y'all, so if many of you don't know, I started off with two strand twists. So this is a comb coil. I'm interested to see how this one will mature compared to the rest of my locks. Um, today is day four of having my hair retwisted. It's not as neat as if I were to use gel. I'm not gun hold on neatness and clean parts. I just want to make sure that the hair is going into the lock that it's supposed to go into. So... And this time I waited about two and a half months to do my root twist. My roots started getting um, matted. They were getting very matted. And so I had to just go ahead and do a root twist. Okay, I'm gonna turn around and give you a back view.
Here's a side view. Here's the other side. Okay. I hope that you really enjoyed. Sit back, enjoy the music, enjoy the view, and I'll catch you in my next video. 